John Hopkins University's data science specialization on Coursera. Currently is the second most popular data science course on the platform. Almost half a million students enrolled. And it has 40,000 reviews. I don't know about you, but the numbers look impressive to me. But is it really this good? Or would it make more sense to pick a different data science program? My name is Daniel, and today we are going to talk about the data science specialization by John Hopkins University on Coursera. In this video, I will give you a course overview, talk about course content, go over pricing certification and career opportunities, and as usual, we will take a look at some student reviews, and I will offer my own opinion on this program. Also, guys, I will leave all course-related links in the description down below, so feel free to check them out after watching this video. And now, let's start! Course Overview Well, folks, the first thing I want to say about it is that it's a big comprehensive program. That's why you should expect some serious learning and spending a lot of time on it. The course description on Coursera says it takes about 7 months to complete it. That's if you spend 10 hours a week learning. But based on some student feedback, I saw quite a few people finish it much sooner. Another important thing to say here is that this is a beginner-friendly course. But you will still need some basic skills to enroll. For example, you will definitely benefit from some programming experience. And some good knowledge of math would be great too. But don't worry, you won't be required to know calculus or linear algebra or anything like that. So what will you learn here? Guys, this program teaches you everything you need for the whole process of data science. From asking the right questions to drawing conclusions and sharing your findings. To be more specific, you will learn R programming and cleaning, analyzing and visualizing data using R, the A to Z data science process from getting data to publishing it, managing data science projects on GitHub, regression analysis, list squares, and inference using regression models. So, as you can see, there is not just some basics here, but also more advanced concepts for you to learn. And I think that's awesome. Course instructors. Ok, let's take a look at people who brought this specialization program to you. First of all is Johns Hopkins University, one of the top 10 universities in the United States. There are three instructors here – Roger D. Pan, Jeff League and Brian Caffo. They all have years of experience in data science and statistics. So you can be sure you will be instructed by the pros if you enroll. Course content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Alright, and now let's look under the cover. What kind of content can you find here? Now, this specialization program includes 10 courses. Here they are. The Data Scientist Toolbox, R Programming, Getting and Cleaning Data, Exploratory Data Analysis, Reproducible Research, Statistical Inference, Regression Models, Practical Machine Learning, Developing Data Products, and Data Science Capstone. I have to say, the length of the courses in this program is pretty uneven. The shortest course takes 5 hours to complete, and the longest one takes as long as 57 hours. But that's hardly a problem, because each course is broken down into smaller modules. People, what I was happy to see here are lots of practical tasks. There are quizzes, programming assignments, and peer graded assignments to get into. And above all that, here is a final capstone project. That's where you will put your skills to use by creating a data product with real-world data. And you know what I think is especially great about all this? All these assignments and the final project will help you build a solid portfolio. Pricing and certification Ok, now let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, guys, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. And just so you know, it's not part of the Coursera Plus package, so keep that in mind. And I get it, guys, this might not sound like a great deal. But think about it. Compare it to the time and money you will be dropping on the college degree. Starting to make sense, right? Now let's talk about certification. 
When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities You know, guys, my subscribers often ask me, Daniel, will this course help me land a job? Well, the short answer is yes, it can. Because this learning program is crafted to arm you with all the skills you need for an entry-level job. That's why it throws in hands-on projects with real-world tasks. And it's all about preparing you for a job market. But, my friends, let's be real. Is it a golden ticket to a guaranteed career opportunity? No, I don't think so. Because you may want to keep improving those skills and actively preparing for interviews to get a job. Long story short, your success in job hunting is mostly about your own effort, with skills you have and not just online certification. Student reviews Alright, my friends, and now let's look at what student reviews are like for this specialization program. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, there are 40,000 reviews for the Data Science Specialization by John Hopkins University. The program has a general score of 4.5 out of 5, which is not bad at all. This means that the majority of reviews here are positive. From what I have seen, people enjoyed the teaching style and the level of challenge the practical tasks presented. Here is, for example, one of 5-star reviews. This class provided a good background on the principles and processes of data science and related research. The R material was very good and the assignments and capstone project will force you to become a good R programmer. The statistical analysis materials were also very thorough. Overall, the course were well taught and the material was relatively easy to follow and learn. But, guys, it's not all perfect, as I found some criticism too. Some students complain about the lack of guidance. Others note that the class might be too challenging for beginners. This is not for beginners with no experience. The estimated weekly hours are absurdly low. No one has seen any sign whatsoever of the industry partner. Swift Key, despite claims they will be around to help. The specialization has been an excellent way to learn a fair amount on the topic. But it is just the beginning. The capstone will challenge you, and it is rewarding when you complete it. So, keep all that in mind, folks, if you plan to enroll. Is the data science specialization worth it? Alright, friends, and finally we have come to the last question for this video. Is the data science specialization by John Hopkins University worth your money and time? Ok, I think that if you have some basic programming experience and want to get into data science, it's a great program to take. In my opinion, it's really helpful. And the projects you will work on here will definitely make your CV more appealing to recruiters. On the other hand, if you are a complete newbie and have zero technical background, it might be too challenging for you. And in this case, I would recommend taking a more basic course or specialization. Alright, my friends, that's all about data science specialization from John Hopkins University on Coursera. I left useful links in the description below, make sure to check them out. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, until next time.